Welcome back to Shark Month, and it's time to talk about Shark in Venice. And I have to admit, this film really isn't a shark movie. Yes, there are sharks in this film in the form of stock footage, prop sharks made out of like rubber, and some CGI shark effects. So we get sort of the evolution of the low-budget shark movie, which I suppose might be somewhat interesting in and of itself, but you could remove all of that from this film, and it wouldn't change that much about the plot. Because the only reason there's sharks in the canals at all is because the mob boss put them in there to keep scuba divers away so, you know, they wouldn't get... They wouldn't potentially find the lost treasure he's trying to find. A lost treasure that's been lost for over three or four hundred years or something like that. And he's all of a sudden worried that, you know, people might find it that aren't even looking for it. And if it was so poorly hidden that you don't have to even be looking for it to stumble across it, someone else probably would have found it in that time, my man. Not to mention, there's a simpler solution. Just report any scuba divers and swimmers to the cops. Because it's illegal to swim in the canals. Or go scuba diving in them. So, you know, there's there's just a simpler solution that doesn't involve man-eating sharks. Not to mention, the sharks mostly just get in his own men's way. Because we see them most more often than not being the victims of the sharks. I mean, sure, the sharks get a few random people, you know, in Venice. But for the most part, we see them eating his subordinates, so... Yeah, it's, it's a self-defeating plan. He, he basically gets in his own way. <sighs> in the dumbest way possible. Not to mention, you know, they have the cave, you know, where the treasure's at, you know, full of traps that you can trigger with pressure plates, you know, like spears that jut out of walls to stab you, or... <laughs> Axes that swing down to chop you or head off or stuff like that. So they don't even need to have the sharks considering they're going for an Indiana Jones-style cave anyway. Uh, so yeah, it just keeps adding you know, on to reasons why there just shouldn't be sharks in this movie at all. In fact, the only reason I can think they put sharks in this movie was to try and sell it to people that want a shark movie. Instead, you know, we get a low-budget, you know, knockoff Indiana Jones-type movie with Stephen Baldwin playing the hero. And he must have some of the thickest plot armor ever, because during one scene he gets attacked by the Great Whites, or a Great White? I'm not sure, based on the editing, because it's really sloppy. And we see him lose a leg, because we watch it just float down to the bottom... And yet, when we see him later on the film, he has all his limbs still. I mean, I've heard of plot armor, but... My Tam is that impressive. You can grow back a limb because you have plot armor that's just that impressive. Like, yeah, I lost a leg because of plot armor. I got it back. I'm like, oh my gosh, that is so messed up. But, yeah, I mean... If you're looking for a low-budget Indiana Jones knockoff, maybe this would be more up your alley, but as a shark movie, it most definitely is not. And even as an Indiana Jones knockoff movie, it tends to be pretty boring, to be honest. I mean, we have some action scenes, but they all take place in the same alley, so they seem kind of nonsensical, because you'll see the people running through the same area multiple times, when they obviously should be moving into different areas. And then it doesn't even make sense where they're trying to kill him anyway. Because they're probably told to bring him back in alive, because he's the only one that knows where the cave's at. Which is why the mob boss tried bribing him with $2 million, you know, to go get the treasure. Like, if you show my men where to go get the treasure, I'll give you 10% of the take. I'll give you $20 million, and here's, you know, a $2 million up front, you know, to get you interested in taking this deal. You know, it's, you know, think of it, your future, my man. Like, you're a teacher, you'll never see this kind of money in your life. Like, that doesn't convince Stefan Baldwin to do it. Um, because his fiance is like, this is stupid, It's there's there's deadly sharks down there, you'll get eaten alive. Of course, why the deadly sharks there, like I said, is because the mob boss, which, again, makes no sense, because it only gets in his own way. Like, they're the worst guard dogs ever, because, you know, a guard dog is trained not to attack your own guys. <sighs> so, yeah, I, I just say give this movie a pass. I mean, the chase scenes, you know, are... Go through the same areas. 
We have people shooting guns at people that you know they shouldn't be shooting at anyway because they want to catch someone alive. Uh, it's just it's just bad. I, I mean, I, I've seen worse movies, but this is film I I, I would never want to watch again. Like it, it's just not it's not bad enough to be enjoyable. It's just boring. It's it's like watching paint dry or something. I mean, if you like it, more power to you, but. I couldn't imagine sitting through this movie again without spending almost the entire time playing Pokemon and doing grinding or something and them to prep for some Let's Plays or something. Until next time, then. See ya.